Diana Denmark here and ra ra ra. A wee shake of the pom poms because it is Monday morning, which means that in Fly Lady Land we get to move on to a new zone to work in. Now remember, the, the zone cleaning and uh, decluttering is when you are kind of past the first stage of Fly Lady. The main thing, if you're just finding my channel now, if you're new to Fly Lady, the main thing that you should be doing, yes, you out there, uh, don't don't worry about what I'm doing in here today. The main thing that you've got to concentrate on and be consistent with, if you want to see results, is the morning routine and the evening routine. Once you've got that going, you add in your weekly home blessing hour. And if you click up there, you know, on your screen or on your computer, uh, I've got a whole playlist where I do the weekly home blessing hour with you. So if you need somebody to work alongside with you and you know and keep you going and cheer you on. I've got a playlist for that, but I, today I'm, I'm working on some zone uh, cleaning and decluttering and we're back in zone four. It's the fourth week of the month, zone four, which is the bedroom. Now, as before, I've told you, you can, you can do this in various ways. The main thing is you just sit, set your timer for 15 minutes or work along with me for 15 minutes. Uh, if you go on to, let me just get it up uh, on the screen here, yeah. If you go on to um, flylady.net and click on launch pad uh, or missions, it will give you the missions for the week. I don't know if you can see that there. Now, you can either pick, you know, Fly Lady lists them Monday to Friday. You don't need to do them in that order. You don't need to do five. Just, just pick something to do or you, you probably can look around your room and say, oh, do the thing that you're really dreading doing. Get get that done first. You know, if you if you think, oh, I haven't cleaned on top of the uh, wardrobe. You know, if there's like a thick layer of dust up there, maybe today's the day that you want to attack that. And it won't won't take you long. The main thing is just set your timer, work for 15 minutes, and then after that, change focus. You know, uh, go off and have a glass of water. Um, you know, go and fold some laundry. And then you can come back to it. Don't don't do this thing of you know you've never done any detail cleaning your bedroom before, and then you you know you spend the whole day doing it, and you never want to clean it again, because because that's the mindset that we're kind of working against. That's why it hasn't worked for us before, because we go all or nothing. So today I'm just doing 15 minutes. Um, I will be your timer, uh, and, and this week I'm I'm going to be showing you how I. Uh, set up things like my cleaning caddy and uh, my control journal. I'm going to be rejigging that. So, so that's what it's going to be like for the rest of the week. Uh, but today I'm, I'm doing a wee bit of uh, detail cleaning here because it is Monday. And it's a good start to the week. And this is generally the only cleaning that I do in here in this room is, you know, on Monday I do like 15 minutes and then I might spot something else that I can do, but you know, there's not much clutter in here now. Uh, I've got my uh, list, which I keep in my control journal, you know, detail cleaning list. And I'm going to be putting my slippers into the wash today. That's something else that I uh, added. I'm going to be taking my makeup brushes, which I keep in the top drawer of there. And I'm going to give those a quick um, rinse tonight with some uh, shampoo, tepid water and just leave them to dry. I'll do that when I'm taking off my makeup tonight. Um, yeah, and otherwise I'm just going to do my usual quick clean in here. So. Feel free to join me. You don't need anything special. You don't need to change clothes. I always close. Uh, I always close. I always um, clean in the clothes that I'm wearing. So let's just get going. I'm going to do the usual. Oh, and last month when we're in this uh, zone, I mentioned to you. You know, I, I try and do things by zone. Like when I'm in zone through the bathroom, I mentioned last week. You know, do you have to stock up on toilet paper, shampoo, razor blades, those kind of things. And I mentioned to you last time I was in this zone that I've been looking for new um, bedding for uh, for here. And I hadn't really seen anything in Ikea. Every time I go to Ikea, I have a wee look. But oh, look at this beautiful one from Zara Home. It's So, you know, get things down on your list. And then when you're out shopping, it's like, oh, yeah, that's what I was, you know, so we're not kind of buying stuff that we don't need. I, I spotted this in Zara Home. And it was on the list and woo, go me. So, right, anyway, let's get cleaning. I'm going to do my usual thing and get my feather duster on a stick. And remember, you don't need to put on any special clothes. Just make sure that you have done your morning routine and you're at least dressed to shoes, okay? Right, I've got feather duster on a stick. And look, I've got new tape on it as well. 
electrical tape. And I'm just going to go around the room, um, you know, clockwise. And I'm also doing the skirting board at the same time. There. And we have had a lot of spiders recently. So it's a good idea to, to do this. Now is the time. There we are. I'll just get back here on the top of the skirting board. Remember, you can also use a cloth and do the skirting boards that way. But I did these last time I was in the zone, so it doesn't take much. Of course, if you've got uh, cats and dogs who are in this room, you probably got a bit more uh, kind of uh, fluff and dust than I do. We don't have any uh, pets up here. We've got the birds downstairs. Uh, and the other thing is that we don't wear shoes in our house, so we're not tracking, you know, dirt upstairs. If you wear shoes inside your house, you're going to have to clean a bit more than uh, if you take off your shoes at the door. Right, that's that done. I'll give that a shake outside when I'm finished. And I think what I'm going to do next is my one of my favourite things to do in the zone, which is I'm going to clean the window. So let me just turn you around. Okay, my usual scoosh scoosh. I've just got some environmentally friendly glass cleaner, Fly Lady Purple Rag, which I have had for donkey's years. consistently and I do them every time that we're in this zone it takes no time at all I'm just gonna open the window a wee bit because it's uh, it's actually quite warm in here this morning there we are. okay there we are and that's how fast it is to clean a window if you're doing it consistently. Uh, and no streaks, uh, use a microfiber cloth and you'll be done in no time. Right, and that's those ones done. I'm just going to do the door out to the balcony. windows every time we're in the zone because it only takes a couple of minutes you don't have to do them every time you're in here you know you could do them every third or fourth month uh, but just make sure that you, you you write it in keep it on your list okay I'm just going to do the side windows now and while I'm doing over here I can tell you about the outside of the windows because uh, I'm, I'm just doing the the window off to the garden the side here uh, I get a lot of questions saying, well, when do you do the outside of the windows? Well, we have um, a three-storey house, and a l most of the windows I can't get to. They're not the kind that can be opened from the inside. So we have a window cleaner, and he comes normally about three times a year, and he has uh, special equipment and ladders and life insurance. So I'm happy to pay him to do that. So... You know, make up mix of things. Maybe you've got a cleaning lady who comes in to help you once a week. That's fine. Nobody's saying that you're not allowed to have a cleaning lady. But you can use your detailed cleaning list and say to the cleaning lady or the cleaning man, okay, I would like you to do this. So you can direct them, okay? So anyway, uh, let me get on with finishing the windows over here. One done. Okay. Yay, done. Done and dusted. Actually, I'm just wiping down the windowsill and behind you. Why I haven't gone off and 
I'm not having a, a sleep. Right, I'm just going to do the windowsill over here, and I'm not even going to use any product. There we are. Okay, so that's the windows done, and uh, if you want to wipe down the uh, surrounds of the windows, that's up to you. I don't generally bother because we don't smoke, uh, we don't have pets in here, we air the place all the time so the, the, the windows are not that dirty. Right, uh, this one is going in the wash and the next thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to um, you know, uh, dust the flat surfaces. I'll just close the, I'll, I'll close the, the door again because I don't know if you can hear. Uh, in our council we have a street sweeper that comes round Monday morning and sweeps away you know, all the leaves and any debris on the cycle paths uh, and then uh, at the side of the pavement. So, very nice service. But it's a wee bit noisy. I'm, I'm going to be doing the, there we are, I'm just going to get a, a dust around here and again if you want to use polish, I don't generally use a lot of products because, uh, well, and I'm cleaning consistently so we don't need it and also if you've got allergies, asthma, you don't want to be using lots of different products. I'm just going to wipe the lamps at the same time, the inside, there we are, give the alarm clock a wee dust, right. right, I'm doing the surround of the bed, And for all those that, of you that have asked, uh, it's an IKEA bed, you know, we've got this roll away nightstands. And I decluttered the nightstands last night. If you, if you need a declutter video for this zone, it will be up here in the corner as well. But today I'm just doing a spot of detailed cleaning. Right, and this is my stuff. I need to put this away, this is my hair wand. I'm doing kind of curly to do that. I'm going for a sea swim a bit later, so I'm, I'm sure I'll be a bit droopy once I'm finished. Right. And I keep my hair stuff in a little basket, and that way I can kind of move it around as I, I use it. Right. Okay, and my books. Actually, I'm going to take this downstairs for pan for time uh, tonight. Do the inside of the lamp as well. Oh, and the top of my, um, I'll do the picture. That was a picture that my granny won in a competition, uh, a painting competition, and she won it. It was actually done by her art teacher, and I've always loved it. And my mum and dad had it, and now it, it hangs above my bed. So there we go. I'll just give that a quick dust. Granny's picture. Yeah, and to be honest, uh, it doesn't really go with the, the rest of the room, but it's one of those things from my granny, so yeah, I like that. Right, next thing I'm just going to do, 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 go around this way. Here we are. Can we focus? Yes, hold on. Just wanted to do the top of my uh, here. So I'll move the book again. And these are my little tea light holders that I think I showed you recently, which I like to light when I'm getting ready for bed. Let's pop those to the side. Oh, and this is the jewellery stand that I got at the clothes swap party with some of my uh, items from the clothes swap party. Right, quick. Dust down and the mirror. There 
So I remember to wash them tonight when I take it for makeup. Right, I think that is going to be that. Well, I just do the base of the lamp as well. Sometimes forget about that one. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep it short here. Let me see how many. Minutes have we been going for? Oh yeah, that's that's fine for today. So what what uh, the only things that I have left to do in here? Uh, I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes. Um, I, I've got the Hoover out. You can see that there. Uh, I'm gonna give my feather duster uh, a, a good uh, shake outside to get rid of any of any cobwebs and. Any spiders that are in there. Um, and, and the last thing I'm going to do, I won't do it now because it's really noisy, is I'm going to give the room um, a detailed vacuum. And generally speaking, it will take me four or five minutes. And that will basically be me done in here for um, detailed cleaning. So, anyway, I uh, hope you have a great day. Not much else to say because I want to get on with my uh, vacuuming. But anyway, uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish food be with you. And I'll see you tomorrow for some... Uh, I think tomorrow I'm going to redo my um, control gel. And I think we'll do that tomorrow. Anyway, le let's wait and see. You never know what's, what's uh, around the corner. Okay, live long and prosper. Down in Denmark saying have a fantastic Monday and see you very soon. Bye for now.